Hi everyone, it's me again. Um, today I'm going to show you how I do my brows because lately a lot of people have been asking me on Instagram how I do my brows lately and because I changed it since my last um, brow tutorial that I made a while ago um, which I can probably link for you because in that video I used pencil but this one I used like a liquid brow gel. This is the Makeup Forever one. I got this while I was in Paris in December. This technique is much faster for me and I like the results much more. So here's the video. Here's the video. Let me swatch. Okay, so I already have one eye done here. Um, I'm going to show you how fast this is. I used the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow and when I originally got this, I asked the lady to pick a color for me and she picked this color and um, it seemed a little too dark for me in the tube so I went and um, exchange it for this one because I feel like grayish browns work for me the best um, but to be honest I, this is number 25 and I think this suits people with light brown hair or blonde hair but I kind of prefer it because it's not as harsh um, as opposed to the normal dark gray pencils that I use um, and it's easier to, it's more forgiving on the brows and it's it's just not as harsh and it's softer and it looks more natural. So I use this angled eyeliner brush from EcoTools and with this brush it lets me do all the work that I need to do very quickly. Um, I just squeeze it a little bit and then I kind of do that or I squeeze it onto my the back of my hand and I get product that way. But so where I start is over here at the bottom of the brow and I literally just draw a line under because I like the bottom of my brow to be sharp like that and then next I deposit product on the end like that and kind of the top part as well at the end of the brow so that most of the definition is at this part of the brow and then literally the rest I kind of just feather in whatever else product is on the brush and on the inner corner I sorry I kind of do this motion sort of like shading in the mid the inner part of the brow And that's it, basically. Then if I have more sparse areas, like this part right here, I'll take more product on the brush. Not too much. And then... And then I'll go in... And just fill it in. However... Making sure to like, blend the middle parts, making sure that they're even, and if I feel like I bled it too far in, I kind of just dab um, there, and that's basically it, bruh. I hope that was helpful for you, um, if you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.